Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a very quick look at the 1985 G.I. Joe Infantry Trooper codename Footloose. Now if the name of this figure reminds you of a certain Kevin Bacon movie, it's probably no coincidence that uh, that movie came out the year before this figure was released. Uh, now Footloose is supposed to be a general infantry trooper, he's not specialized, uh, but this action figure has a lot going for it. For one thing, it has a ton of accessories. Uh, he has an M16 with a strap. He has a law rocket with a strap. Uh, he has a helmet and he has a backpack. Now this law rocket here uh, looks a lot like the one that came with the bazooka action figure of the same year, but that's a different accessory, so don't get those mixed up. Also, the strap on this M16 rifle tends to break very frequently, so if you're getting a footloose action figure, uh, take a look at the accessories and make sure that the strap on that M16 rifle is not broken. Another thing that's kind of special about this action figure is uh, his helmet. His helmet has some extra detail and it looks like it has some leaves. It looks like he's added some extra camouflage to this helmet uh, by putting some leaves in the netting. Uh, and there's actually a paint application on the helmet. Uh, it is very rare indeed that we get a paint application on the accessories of a 1980s G.I. Joe action figure, so that's kind of special. Now, Footloose is highly detailed. He has a camouflage pattern. I really like this figure. Now, Footloose uh, was more or less a replacement for the first G.I. Joe infantry trooper codenamed Grunt, uh, and I do like the character and the figure of Grunt quite a lot, but uh, Footloose, as you can see, uh, he's like a souped up version of that figure. Much more detailed, a lot more paint applications, a lot more accessories, uh, but uh, he does come with the uh, trademark M16 rifle, uh, and I, I do like that. It's, it's kind of an update of uh, Grunt, uh, a good update, uh, so I think he's an appropriate uh, replacement for G.I. Joe's first infantry trooper. So that was a very quick look at the uh, Footloose action figure from 1985. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, he's not quite ready for a full review yet, but I'll get to him pretty soon. Uh, but keep an eye out on this channel for more full G.I. Joe toy reviews coming up in the future. I will see you soon.